First of all, I think speaking in tongues is just a fake programming that people have uh, gained and added to the entire doctrine of Christianity over the last hundred years uh, because this was not something that Christians would allow a hundred years ago. These things would have been considered uh, as blasphemy or heresy. Uh, and then when you go back even another 200 years, it was certainly heresy. But to look at it from what you actually should read from your Bible, if you guys were to actually follow your Bible, in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 14, it tells you that based on Paul's writing, that if you have the gift the, of speaking in tongues, that he would prefer that you have the gift of prophecy instead of speaking in tongues, because tongues is for the edification of the individual and not for the edification of the church. He also says that that is an unknown language that you are speaking just to God in, and that it, if you were to speak it out loud in front of people, that there should be one or two interpreters. If there's not an interpreter, that's down in verses 25, 24, 25, round in there, that if there's not interpreters, then you should keep silent in the church and that you cannot be your own interpreter. That's up more like verse, verses nine, seven, eight, nine, somewhere in there of the same chapter. That if you, if, if you can't not be your own interpreter, if you are your own interpreter, then that is something that you do in silently in prayer with God where you interpret it, but it is not for the edification of the church that you interpret it out loud, but only in the privacy of your own individual prayers with your God. But let's look at this for really what it is. You see, prior to the 1600s, when you have the trans transatlantic slave trade, uh, European Christianum, Levant Christianum, North African Christianum thought that it was a demon, a demon possession if you were to have gained the Holy Spirit and then start speaking in tongue, that only the priest and only the bishops and thing, people of that level could achieve this and have this, anybody else would be considered to be demon possessed it wasn't until that transatlantic slave trade and the slave the slavery that occurred by uh, of indigenous people in the americas where in their religions before you stole it from them they believed that the ancestors or the deities could come in and possess a person to speak whatever the deities or the ancestors desired from them but and then as they converted these indigenous people and Christians in, and Africans into slaves, and they brought their religion of Ifa, Vudin, or whatever they had, uh, spiritualism, animalism, into Christianity, it, became, it started becoming more and more acceptable for people to catch the Holy Ghost, because prior to that, only the priest and the Pope and all of them could catch the Holy Ghost. And then as that teaching grew into European or Caucasian American mindsets, then it became more popularized and really didn't start its really big kick until more around the 1930s and so on, mostly in your rural areas first. And then it just started being accepted uh, more on a worldwide scale over these last like 50, 60 years. So uh, when y'all claim to be speaking in tongue, if, if there's no interpreter, then your Bible said to shut up, to be quiet, to stop talking that you do this in silence. So if you're going to claim this book and follow this book, then please, please do it as the book says, not as your doctrine and dogma is saying. But go have a nice day and remember always, you gotta free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.